All right, now here's a question. We, uh, we couldn't have conceived of this one a few years ago. Can a cell phone, your cell phone, steal the numbers off a credit card? All right, now one privacy expert says yes, it can. Tonight, Fox 13's consumer reporter Chris Camaro is going to look at how far our wireless revolution has uh, taken us and where hackers have an upper hand in high-tech pickpocketing. If there is one word that defines modern times, it's wireless. We cut the cord on the phone, unplug the internet cable, program new TVs with Wi-Fi, and pay tolls with small windshield transmitters. Radio waves are everywhere. Now this, a wireless hotel room key. Radio frequency technologies. Orlando's Peabody Resort is steeped in tradition. Its signature ducks, an icon of her rich history. Yet behind the front desk, this historic hotel's a trendsetter using new, next-generation wireless keys. You just wave it in front of it like a magic wand and the door magically opens for you. The card and the door share information through thin air. Guests just have to get close to open the door. It's much more secure. Uh, there is no ability to be able to duplicate that card. It's proof everything is going wireless. But not everyone's wild about the wireless frontier. It's a privacy nightmare. Walt Augustinowitz is the guy who warned us that new wireless credit cards, like the ones with this logo, are easily hacked. And there's your MasterCard number. <gasps> he rigged up a portable scanner, and when he got near people's wallets, Walt could read their credit card numbers. That's actually your Amex, uh, probably an Amex Blue. Now, Walt says he's found an even bigger breach. <laughs> He says thieves don't need a scanner anymore, and they don't even need to be anywhere near you to steal a credit card number from a wireless card. How's that? Cell phones. There's an antenna behind here. Certain new phones contain something called NFC, Near Field Communication. The app that makes your phone your wallet. It's the innovation behind services like Google Wallet. With Google Wallet, you can pay with your phone. It stores account numbers, then transmits them to cash registers on demand. You lock Google Wallet with a pin, so it's more secure than a physical wallet. But Walt twisted the technology. Put this over, and that's how you pay. He's figured out that when there's a phone with NFC near a wireless credit card, the phone can secretly pull account numbers. One makes the other completely dangerous. Yes, your phone could be stealing your credit card number. A hacker can pull off the heist by remote. Lazy, but lucrative pickpocketing. It'll actually scan the credit card and secretly send off the data to an email address anywhere in the world. An infected phone could really go to work in a crowd. The screen could be blank, but in the background, the virus is scanning for credit card numbers. You've got mail. You're gonna have a person on the other end watching their email box just fill up with credit card information um, without ever having to get near you, being a world away. Even more alarming is how easily hackers could infiltrate our phones. Walt worries we could unknowingly grant them access in an app. Say a tempting new game is free, so you snag it. But what you've really installed is a credit card stealing virus on your phone. From the minute they downloaded it, whether they played it or not, it's sitting there looking for these credit cards. For all the convenience and wonder of wireless technology, Walt says this is the downside having to keep up with crooks. So he recommends exchanging wireless credit cards for old-fashioned ones, and for cellular users, downloading what he has. Virus protection. On your phone? On my phone. Yeah, I have a smartphone, it's, it's a mini computer. Right now, there are 322 million cellular phones in use in the US, but only a sliver of the wireless population carries the protection of virus software. If Walt's right, the rest might be leaving a virtual playground for criminals wide open. Anywhere where you store your personal information, they're going to be looking to get in. Chris Camora, Fox 13 News. All right, I've got a droid, and I'm going to have to go find an, an antivirus app on the Android market, and there is one available. You need to be careful about this. iPhones don't yet have the uh, NFC technology behind the breach that Chris just showed us. So be careful. Kelly. Exactly. All right.